Meanwhile, EU diplomats have said that the European Union plans to ban the import of Iranian oil from July the 1st, giving member states nearly six months to win down existing contracts. The latest round of punitive measures against Iran comes as tensions rise over Tehran's nuclear program. The country is already facing numerous sanctions, raising questions about whether Iran can afford to have its oil sector targeted. Oil, of course, is the source of most Iran's revenue. Our reporter Wang Jinye reports from Tehran. Germany, France and the UK have been pushing for the oil embargo to increase pressure on Iran over its nuclear program. The EU ban intended to take effect later this year would cut off Iran at least partly from some of its biggest customers. Iran, the second largest producer in OPEC, pumped 3.58 million barrels of crude a day last month. So what effect would this oil embargo have on Iran? According to Tehran University professor Ziba Kalam, the EU's oil embargo would have little effect on the Iranian economy. Given the fact that uh, Europe is not a huge uh, importer of Iranian oil, I don't think it will, uh, it will affect uh, uh, Iranian economy very much. Professor Ziba Kalam also pointed out that Iran can easily sell its oil to other customers and that the oil embargo will not influence Iran's nuclear policy. I don't think it will affect uh, Iranian uh, policy makers. It will not inf influence Iranian leaders. It will not uh, make them to, to change uh, anything as far as nuclear program. Tensions over the newest round of sanctions led Iranian Vice President Mohammad Riza Lahimi to threaten last month that Iran may close off the Street of Hormuz a strategic choke point where about a fifth of the world's oil travels through. But will Iran carry out such a threat? According to Professor Zibo Kalam, if Iranian policymakers feel that the West, especially the U.S., has shut the door and Iran has no alternatives, it's very likely Iran will close the street of Hormuz. If you uh, prevent the Islamic regime from importing its oil, you have indirectly, you have indirectly declared the war on the Islamic regime. The rising tensions come as Iran's economy struggles with high inflation and slow growth. Iran's real currency has declined 40 percent to 55 percent against the dollar on the black market since December. And according to the central bank, inflation is now exceeding 20 percent a month. The RIA is now trading at about 17,000 U.S. dollars, down from about 12,000 in December. The RIA's sudden decline has unnerved Iranians, from merchants and traders to everyday citizens looking to protect their savings. Ramin Roisi, a 28-year-old shopkeeper from an affluent neighborhood in northern Tehran, says he is making less than $100 a day on average this month, far short than his $500 in expenses. Definitely there are less customers in comparison with the past. Every day people's purchasing power is becoming weaker and the situation is getting worse. Some Iranians argue that it's ordinary people who are paying the price for sanctions. The previous sanctions got a hard pressure on Iranian ordinary people, not official. And that's why the most of Iranian people right now cannot meet the end and the expenses are too high. As the West and Iran continue to ratchet up tensions in the Persian Gulf, both sides are making threats against the one resource that make this region so strategically significant and volatile, CCTV Tehran.